We left off talking about point-slope form, which is most applicable when you know the slope and one given point of an equation. For example, let's say Luke is walking. He's walking at a speed of three feet per second. And we know that after 20 seconds, he is, we'll say, 100 feet from home. And he's walking towards home. From this information, we know m is 3, because it's 3 feet per second. But it's a negative 3, because Luke's distance to home is decreasing. We're subtracting 3 feet off of it, the distance every second. We also know that we have the ordered pair 20, 100. From this information, we can use the point-slope form. We get y minus 100 equals negative 3 times x minus 20. And that is our linear equation in point-slope form. Next, I want to talk about intercepts. Intercepts are where the graph crosses an axis on the Cartesian plane. So we have two types of intercepts because we have two axes. We have our horizontal axis, which gives us a horizontal intercept, and our vertical axis, which gives us our vertical intercept. Not the straightest of lines. Actually, this one's very crooked. That's a little better. Traditionally, we do call the horizontal axis x and the vertical y. If we have a graph, so we'll stick with linear, this point right here is your x-intercept, or your horizontal intercept. This is where the graph crosses the x-axis. It is the value of your input when your output is zero. It's very important to understand that idea. We also have the point where the graph crosses the y-axis, or your vertical axis. This is your y-intercept, or your vertical intercept. This is the point where whatever input you have this is the input of zero that corresponds with that particular output. So whenever you plug in zero for your input, you should get some value for y for your output, and that is your vertical intercept. So horizontal intercept is what value for your input will give you zero for your output. And vertical intercept is when you plug in zero for your input, what value do you get for your output? And lastly, we do want to look at horizontal and vertical lines. Horizontal lines. So for example, if I had a line here, and we'll say that's at 3. They're always of the form y equals a value. In this case, y equals 3 because no matter what we plug in for x, whether I plug in 1, or 5, or negative 6, the output will always be 3. A horizontal line has a slope of 0, and it either has no horizontal intercepts or infinitely many. The way it has infinitely many is if our equation is actually y equals 0, in which case your line is the horizontal axis. Vertical lines are going to be talked about very briefly in the next video because unfortunately we did run out of time in this one.